I went to a bunch of music festivals this year and I wanna show you three of my favorite outfits from all of those experiences. Let's go. Now, what makes a good festival outfit? I wouldn't wear what I'm wearing here to a festival, although some people would. For me, when you're at a music festival and you're outside, you have to have something that's really breathable, that's light, that's not gonna restrict you, but that also like looks dope. I don't wanna show up in just anything. I wanna, I wanna make a statement. I'm there to have a really particular kind of experience. I wanna have fun, and uh, the clothing that I wear, I try to make that reflective. By the way, welcome to my room. This is, <laughs> this is what it's like at night. I'll crouch down so you guys can get a better view. It's nice. These are the city lights of downtown Los Angeles. It makes for a nice backdrop when I'm trying to explain my outfit choices. So let's get after it. Starting off the list, we have an all white fit that I wore at Coachella. I also wore this at Austin City Limits, uh, a music festival in Austin, Texas that happened recently. It's one of my favorites. So these pieces, I'm gonna try to put this one together. This one's like a little hard to get on. It's like a little tricky, but I'm gonna do my best. For starters, because we're eventually gonna be wearing boots, we gotta make sure that we're busting out the right kind of socks. Comfy, thick wool socks. You might be like, why would you ever do that? It seems like it'd be too warm. Well, yeah, a festival is gonna be warm. You're always gonna be a little bit overheated at some level, you know what I mean? But I'm not wearing ankle socks and boots, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I gotta have something that's durable, that's gonna work for me. All right, let's get, uh, let's get these suckers on. Mm. Oh, what am I doing? Let me take this one off real quick. Black tank is not part of the fit, actually. I'm gonna put this boy right here for the moment. As much as I love this fit, it's a little, uh, it takes some finesse. Like, <laughs> you have all of these strands that come around that like are supposed to tie around your leg. So here, I will show you. Mm. And I promise that I've worn this before and that I know how it goes. <laughs> there we go. This is why it's very important to get ready early. You know, you don't want to be caught lacking 10 minutes before you're supposed to leave for the festival. <laughs> Got some of those knots out. We're gonna let these ones hang. We're a little put together. All right, let's get the boots. These boots, these boots here, these are the money makers. These kind of give me like Tatooine vibes. I can't explain it. Actually, you know what? I can't explain it. Let me tell y'all something. So the movie Dune, great movie, did a fashion collab with this one Bulgarian brand called Demo Baza. And these are the pieces that they picked out. They're pretty dope. Of course, I at one point got like a social media ad like very targeted towards me and I was just like, dang, these pieces look insane. I would love to have some and wear them to a fest. I know a lot of people said it like it, it gives like Burning Man. I don't see anything wrong with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a fit. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna stand out. It's gonna make a statement. Let's get this top on. Let's get it. Really need the Jeopardy theme music right now. So I'm finding way. Again, this one's tricky. There's, yeah, there we go. There we go. Nah, this thing uh, takes some finessing to get on, but. You'll understand why. Just like slap the uh, metal cords over there. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of drapey shit going on. There's a lot happening with this. Yes, this can be somewhat of a hassle if you're walking through a crowd and someone steps on it, it is annoying, but there's a solution. So on the inside, right in here, there's like a little hook and you can use that hook to like tie up some of these extra loose ends if they're getting annoying. You might wanna have them out just because it's fun to dance with them, you know what I mean? Cause like they'll flap in the wind. And that brings me to an important point. One of the main things that this outfit benefits from that I, that I unfortunately ca I cannot like accurately show you in this setting is wind. When the wind blows through this thing and it's just like flapping, I wish I had like a massive industrial fan, it's kind of my bedside fan, like maybe, but no, no, it wouldn't work. But when the wind's blowing, like it really carries this, it moves around, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's really hard to show you, but it's, uh, it works. It's a good fit. And there's also a little, little hood situation. If you want to stay warm, protect yourself from the elements, look like a, look like a Russian mother who just escaped the war. You know what I mean? They took everything. They took the children, that type of vibe. It's solid. And there's a lot of different ways you can wear this. One way you can do it is you can slide things in this loop, but you can also just like toss this over, toss this bad boy over as well. And uh, now you're like slightly more clothed. So yeah, it's really, it's giving desert. It's giving Dune. It's giving Tatooine. It's giving all that, all the lore. And I love it. I love how, I love how it fits. I love how it feels. It's very breathable too. It's also very durable. You wouldn't think this looks like, you know, she would tear mad easy, but it doesn't. It actually, it actually works really well. So yeah, this is fit number one. All right, let's go to fit number two. Fit number two is also in all white, but it is much more of a like classic approachable man aesthetic. Let me show you. All right, we've got fit number two in bounds. So first off, we have some classic white shorts. Not much to say here. Okay, actually, yeah, I, 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 I do have some things to say here. 
First and foremost, these things used to fit me a lot better. Summer was the end of my cut. It's uh, approaching winter and I'm in the middle of my bulk. So we're gonna pretend like these things don't fit me like a straight jacket because you know, used to fit me a little better, but you know, I'm not mad. I can walk, you know, I can still do, I can do some things. And then for the, you know what, let me get my socks on. Every time that I like put an outfit together on like any kind of social media, there's always like, someone in the comments who's very upset at the order in which I put stuff on. So they'll be like, oh, you're supposed to put your socks on first and then your pants, or you're not supposed to put your shirt on like before you put on. I, I'll never know. I'll never know what the true order is, but I'm putting my socks on and uh, no one's gonna stop me. All right. We're putting it together with the shirt. Now again, this is definitely not as like loose or free as some of the other, you know, the first fit that I showed you, but it is still comfortable. You know, this is like a knit fabric. By the way, I forgot to mention, this is like from Zara, I'm pretty sure. I could double, I could double check the tag. I'll, I'll double check the tag, but I'm pretty sure this is from Zara. Not a sponsored thing or anything, but just, just so you're curious where I got this stuff. This is like, I think, I think both of these, I think the shorts and the, the shirt are from, from Zara, you know what I mean? So if you wanna dress this up a little bit, it's also just works really well as like a, like, you know, Saturday daytime party type of vibe. It opens well, it's comfortable, it's breathable, it stretches a little bit, which is nice. But if you know, you wanna go, uh, if you wanna go full 4th of July, American independence type B, you, you open it up like this. You know what I mean? So it's a good fit. Oh, there's one addition. Actually, there's two additions. First addition is this fanny pack. You might be like, why on earth would you ever wear a fanny pack? Bro, have you been to a music festival before? You gotta have one. It's crucial. I mean, like you can put stuff in your pockets, but you're always just like one, you're one lack of attention away from like getting your phone stolen, which has happened to me before. It's not fun. Like, it's not fun to get your stuff stolen. So fanny pack just works. It also just kind of like, you know, it works. It works. I know that there's probably a better way to style this. You know what? Let me try that. Let me try, let me try something. Let me try something real quick. You know, moderate improvement. I think it looks a little better when I'm like, less feral, you know what I mean? Like I'm a little more buttoned. Oh, and the shoes. I was like, I know I'm forgetting some. These bad boys. Ugh. Yes. Nice. Add some uh, add some shades, add some cloud goggles, perhaps. <laughs> and you're good to go. But yeah, this is fit number two. I wore this at uh, Hard Summer Music Festival in Los Angeles this year, had a blast. All white fit. Yes, it does get dirty a little bit easily. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta watch for that. You gotta make sure you're not in too much dust. Gotta do your laundry when you get back. But it's still a good fit. It feels good, feels nice. The Supreme Air Force Ones, you know. I can't say, okay, I can't, I, can't just, I can't just bust out a pair of Air Force Ones and be like, oh yeah, look at how sick this is. Because I feel like every dude in LA, it is just like, it comes with, when you move to LA, the government like gives you a pair of these. Maybe not the Supreme ones, right? But they give you some Air Force ones. I had to get the Supreme ones to stand out just like a teeny bit, right? You know, but they're good. Fit number two, in all of its glory, it's a good one. Store stuff in here. You've got the all white fit, you're very comfortable. Let's, let's, uh, let's move on to fit number three. So for starters, we're coming back to the wool socks. We're going back to the uh, long sleeve and, or not long sleeve, but pants situation. And we're gonna need some boots, right? So look, these pants, these pants are kind of insane. Like it's, these are the type of pants that like, they could be cheap, could be like an H&M, like a fast fashion version of them, but these are the real deal. These are the actual, just like the first outfit, these are pieces from the Dune collection that Damo Baza made. So like these are pieces that were designed based off of the movie. And I think to a certain extent may include pieces that were actually worn, the product type, not like the literal pieces that would be, that'd be memorabilia, but yeah, they're cool, right? <laughs> they're fun, so. All right, let's get these pants on, let's go. These ones too, probably gonna be a little form fitting because I wore these when I was cutting and when I was just a smaller boy. Yes. My friends have an affectionate name for uh, this pocket right here. I'm gonna let you guess what it is because uh, you know, I don't wanna say it out loud. They do in fact have a pocket right here. Probably a lot of things you could put there. The list is endless. Probably couldn't fit your phone unless it was tiny. Maybe a flip phone, but nothing, nothing real. Nothing real in here aside from, you know, some gum. That's about it. <laughs> that's, that's honestly about all I can think of. So you have this piece, um, and again, you have some cool like straps and stuff that weave around. You have some side pockets, no main pockets obviously, but you have like a big pocket right here. Then you have a small pocket right here, somewhat larger pocket right here. It's in between those two. And then you have like a baby pocket right here. You also have another pocket that's a, okay. In rank of size, it is biggest, next biggest, Next biggest, next biggest, next biggest. They're all different, right? They're all, <laughs> they're all different, but they are fun. They feel good. Now with this fit, I really did want to wear the brown boots again, but I'm not an outfit repeater. You're not allowed to do that. You know what I mean? Gotta be respectful. So instead I'll be busting out these black boots. They're pretty solid. I ain't gonna lace up. You get the idea. You actually don't even need to lace up these boots. 
they're good as they are, but ooh, got a stray sock in the way. So this is the base of the fit, let's get the top. The top goes crazy. The top is big, it's long, it's massive. This was like one of the main outerwear pieces from the Dune collection. Again, still with the Damo Baza brand, and it's a, it's a lot of fun, let me show you. Get this bad boy, Ooh. get him on real quick. Trickier to do this with one hand, but you know, we push through. Yes, here we go. Now again, we got a little hood situation if we wanna go incognito. You also have like a lot of, similar to the other fit, you have like a lot of extra straps that are coming around. Do a little twirl for the camera, you know? <laughs> Gotta show it off. But then, again, what I love, really love about this piece is like you can wear it a bunch of different ways, right? So you can wear it, you can sling this over, you can sling, let me find it, let me find it, let me find it. Here we go. You can do one of these. Give yourself like a little neck warming situation. You have a lot of options, you know what I mean? You can also wear it like much more open face. Yeah, it's gonna be so funny to watch me struggle. Take this off when I'm back like tweaking this. Put it together. But yeah, you can also wear a much more open face if you want the, the freedom. You have like a good amount of pockets here. I'll be honest, you know, I like playing by the rules, but sometimes when I would wanna sneak a water bottle into a festival, right here, like right here. Let me show, let me show you, let me show you. Oh, I've got this water bottle that I'm definitely not, not allowed to bring into a festival. I wonder, I wonder how I'm gonna be stopped. Oh, wait a second. What water bottle? What are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I guess it's a little visible from the outside, but you know, you can cover it. I did successfully. I did for, I think two of the three days had a Coachella busted in with one. So it's, uh, it's solid. It gets the job done. And yeah, it's a very comfortable fit. This is also something that can be layered with like fit number two, for, or I should say fit number one, like the one with the all white. You can also like layer this on top, right? And it's really comfortable. Like if you want some extra warmth, it looks good because it's brown. You got brown on white, can't, can't go wrong. You know what I mean? So it is a solid, comfortable fit. I will say these pants are a little tight. Again, the bulk, this is like one of the biggest problems with bulking and cutting is just no one really has a wardrobe solution other than just like having a lot of clothes. But I'm, uh, you know, suffering from the consequences of my actions here. It's a tricky one, but yes, this is the fit. It's comfortable. This is honestly like one of my favorites just to be able to like, walk around and feel like a video game character, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> I know it sounds corny, but like when you're actually at a festival and like no one cares what you wear and you're just vibing and dancing and doing your own thing, just to be able to bust out in something like this and just move around and just have this like fly everywhere, it's feels good. You feel you feel like a video game character. I don't I don't know how else to put it. You you feel like you are inside of a fantasy universe and that is a lot of fun. Anyways, those are my three fits. Thanks for watching.